What's going on all my cheesy friends out there in YouTube world? We're at the grind today. You know what we're here for. I've already been out for a little bit and two Walmarts were a little bit dry. But I know for a fact that there are some great finds here in Target and we're going to go snag them up. Just to show you guys, like these little guys are on clearance. A lot of this stuff is on clearance. The problem is it's only at 50% off and it's not worth it. And I'll even show you. I'll grab one of these and just scan it at 50%. Um, unfortunately, the Wish stuff is garbage. This stuff isn't on Amazon and Aquaman, we all know. Jason Momoa might be a pretty man. His merch sucks. Hope everybody's having a great day great day but yeah going through toys eh, i'm not seeing anything good nothing that like screams pick me up that's okay we're not here for toys i will show you what we are here for so i will say one thing to really watch out for is some of this stuff records are starting to go a little bit on clearance it's only certain ones but see there's a clearance section over there this might be on clearance and it's in good shape like more than the 12.49 there is some stuff here that i generally will pick up but i'm not seeing anything here and I'm really not seeing anything here, but I know where the things I want are. And how do I know this? Well, I hit them there. So like I said, a bunch of stuff's going on clearance. The Wish, the Post Malone, nah. But these guys, these are what I came for. You're like $24.99. Big cheese, that ain't worth it. Wait till young Padawan. But let me show you what I did. I knew the way that this store works and the way people are here. And your boy came down here <laughs> and I hid more. Three more, in fact, but that's not it. No, 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 no. Oh, geez, these aren't marked. No, they're not, but I bet you. Now, while I'm at it, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of these UPCs just in case, because I think there might be more, but I could be wrong. So let's check our stuff. Unfortunately, those are $13.99, they're not worth it. These might be on clearance. Ooh, 1049. Again, if it ain't 70, we leave it. 749. Now, so I'm not a hundred percent at 749. Oh god, no. We'll leave her behind. But what y'all came for, Davidja games. Ba bam and ba bam. Live a live and WarioWare get it together. First off, 1499. 1499. Let's freaking go. That's a great win. That's a great way to start the day. I saw that controller over there. Ew. But again, you see this controller, when that gets 70% off, that's like 15% off that. That ain't worth it, folks. You, you skip that. Let me go put this stuff back and we'll go check that other clearance section. Okay. A uh, little bit of an unexpected find. So at 1607, those are 949. Those do have to be polybagged whenever you send those, but okay. See a bunch of this stuff here. There's actually some really good products here like those designer series, um, just some other stuff. But I was in a store in another Target by my work and I walked in and they had a bunch of stuff and I was about to go, you know, do my clearing thing and get a bunch of it. And they pulled all of it, CRC'd it, which is a specific type of liquidation. They have two, they have salvage and CRC and they get different amounts per. I luckily saved what I could. Um, I've sold a couple of them. Actually, it was of those designer series. Those boxes are screwed up. I've already been here. Um, and they're they're making about $10 a piece. They're about $23 cost. But there was a bunch of other stuff that I was going to grab. And the lady was like, told me I couldn't grab them because they were CRC. And she said, but whatever you see now, if you see it, grab it because we got to go. The thing about, they got to go. This happened yesterday when they got marked down at 70% which means that they're getting told, and, and I have insider information from a plug of mine, um, they're getting told to pull it and send it back to uh, manufacturers. Um, they're wanting their inventory back, which I get it, but at the same time doesn't bode well for us. And that means that sourcing at Target is gonna take a lot of speed now. And just to show you guys, I'm gonna make $15 on each one of the wire wares and then live a live. I'm gonna make $15 on each of those. Now you know I was super excited about. I believe that will do it for ye old Target. I, like I had said before, I had already been to a couple of other stores and it was dry. So, we'll go ahead another Walmart. All right, new Walmart. <clears throat> I have gone through this clearance section. There's some really good stuff, like this guy right here, but it needs to be cheaper than 30, but and boom, $13.30. And 
And you're like, bah, whatever, old game, blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's a great pickup right there. So, but the rest of this is scraps. You know, little wins here and there. It happens. There's a lot more store left. So I just got done buying pet food for the dogs at PetSmart. Now this 65 pound bag of authority, because that's the brand that we've always used, has gone from a whopping 45 to 50 to 55, which at 55 I was really starting to be like, ugh, to now $60. So after tax, it's $64 for a 35 pound bag of food. I swear these dogs need a job. So the UPS packages are dropped off. A little bit of a life update, I guess. Breakfast. Well, actually this is one of two. Me and the wife have decided to do Weight Watchers. My general crappy eating habits are slowly changing. Plus I guess the weird point systems like a video game to my brain. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Maybe I'll enjoy it or maybe I'll hate it. But your boy could, you know, used to lose a couple of LBs around the uh, old middle section there. If you didn't know what time it is, it's McKay's time. Well, your boy wanna make some money. I'm hoping for some good video games today. Okay, so there's some big potential here. <laughs> this Pokemon Go Plus Plus, that's brand new. Well, that's used, but it's a brand new thing. There's used comps easily all day. But the other thing that I was looking at was there's a Switch for $130. So as typical, nothing overly exciting they do have a couple of copies of mario down there that i may grab depending on what they look like nothing good in the snes era of things and nothing up here that i saw that was like oh yeah you should grab this we will definitely check those marios over there we'll see what happens oh my god guys guys oh my god guys I'm going to keep it under wraps. I just had a huge pickup. This has gotten to be a very expensive McKay's trip. Very expensive. Going through the video games, all that kind of fun stuff. And this is my stack. And I'm going to tell you, this guy right here, that little guy, that little guy's insane. This one's pretty nuts too. But yeah, so I'm just kind of going through, seeing if there's anything worth a flip. Going through some Guitar Heroes and all the fun stuff. And <laughs> wait till you see, it's nuts. Now here's one of those things where I want to show you guys, like sometimes in the case is ridiculous about stuff. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. You can buy that new for that price. This is used. But here's the crazy one. Mystery Dungeon DX. I can go buy this game for $40 right now. Brand new, sealed. They want $74.95. There's, there's no way. There's no way that that's, that's out of touched pricing. And it almost makes me want to go buy all the new ones and drop them and see what they give me for for a return on investment because that's just dumb. That's our stack so far, but um, I'm already seeing stuff. Like boom, Ant-Man and Wasp, I already know. I already know. Oh, previously viewed, boo. But still, it was strong, baby. So I wanna show you guys this. One, two, three, they've gotta be, they messed something up because look at the prices. 1179, 22, um, 417, which that one's just a quick little double up, but I mean, Dude, come on. I'm telling you, man, when this, when this place hits, it hits so good. So good today. We are loaded up. I'm gonna go get in line, and I'm scared to see how much this is gonna cost, because I know it's gonna be nuts. Here it is, the biggest single store. Well, yes, maybe? <gasps> now I don't know. But this is the craziest haul that I've had out of this store ever. Holy bananas in a pajamas, and they were they were flying down them stairs. Altogether was $370.95. I used $78 of trade. I paid out of pocket $319.62. Now, I know that I actually, I know that I actually already have crystal sold, silver sold, or gold sold. Ruby, you'll have to get a new battery. I might have to get a new battery for, for both of them. I don't know, but. I mean, guys, this is nuts. This is the craziest haul I've ever had. And that's not including some of the insane DVDs in there. That's what's even crazier. 
Um, I picked up this one and I'll show you guys because this is my actual sold. It's sold today. Unfortunately, I think in the last video I showed it and I was like apprehensive because it was 25 bucks, but it sold for 69 bucks. I just picked up another one. One sold out of here, so I lost out on that one, but still, I'm gonna go add this right now back into my into my inventory. Okay, well, I'm gonna get home. We're gonna pick up Mrs. Cheese, and we're gonna do some more sourcing. Hey, look who I found. Hey. We're at Discovery Outlet, way north. We decided to go for a little trek. Hopefully we can pull some goodies out of here. Y'all already know. My guys right here, which have always done me well, we gonna clean them out. Now, if you're new to this situation, I sell those for $74 a piece. I easily make double, if not triple my money on every one that I sell. So like one of the big things too is like this location is so much more bigger that they get so much more stuff. Just more opportunity for good finds. They still got the tool cage and I'm hoping they've got some of those laser levels because those have always been great. This sucks. There are two people in stock at $49.99, which I don't understand why, because they're stupid. That's what I was selling them for when I was in stock, because I was the only person in stock. You may be asking yourself, what do you do? I actually will buy two, maybe. I don't know, because now I'm kind of like, I know how quickly I sold through them and they weren't that quick. You know, I would sell a couple a month here and there and you know, it was a real, it's a really good skew for me, but and see like at one point in time, they had 32 of them. They're down to nine. I don't know. Cause I don't like to waste trips up here. It's not like I don't come up here often. And when I do, I like to maximize my trips and I'm gonna ask the wife. All right, 125 something spent. Successful waters. And successful waters. And see, so we decided against getting them just because they have a 15 day return policy. And we just felt like, okay, that same hundred more dollars that I was about to spend could easily be spent elsewhere and better utilized right now. And sometimes you gotta make those decisions like what is worth your money now versus later. On to Target we go. All right, so we're up in the Target. And the first thing I find is this. Now this is the 50% off price, which, eh. But I'm gonna take a picture of this for the UPC and check it to see if it's not cheaper. Cause if it's cheaper, that's money. So this Target, they used to put all of their clearance right here. But now it looks like they've just got regular price stuff. Where did they put the clearance? Mm. Me thinks I found it. Because like these guys right here, these should be on clearance. So we'll take a picture of those. We'll check those. <clears throat> One of my stores actually had these on clearance. So we'll check those. But what I'm really interested in, is I'm wondering if any of this stuff over here also be on clearance, but these look properly tagged. Generally when they're properly tagged, they're not on clearance. So it's a high possibility that the store doesn't have a whole lot of clearance or this could be clearance. Cause like these have stickers on them they're garbage but and of course the one thing I love about this target is there's only one scanner that works so let's get to checking now is peach on sale peach ain't on sale what about that guy is that cheaper than what it was it's only 50% off is that guy more than 50% off no what about the Mario Rainbow Road no Bo-Katan Ooh, that's cheap that might be worth it whoopee pump no like I said if those were cheaper than 86 it would have been worth it but those Bo-Katans are I believe worth it. I haven't checked the listing except for a few days ago. So we're gonna go grab those. And then we still got a lot of electronics to look through. So at $8 and 39 cents, it's about $8 in profit on each of them with a killer rank of 11.2 K. Not bad. Go over the NECA stuff and then we'll check, see if they've got any dehumidifiers here or whatever the kind of fun stuff they've got. Make it worth our time. All right, so we got our basket of treasures. Star Wars figures plus found me two Vigi games. And how much are said Vigi games? $17.99 and $14.99. Let's freaking go. So we're gonna go get some dinner and uh... See you later. Well, I'll see you in the cheese cave. We're gonna go over some of those DVD pickups because they're spicy. Okay, we are back in the cheese den. Here's the stack, it's not a lot. Remember, it wasn't very heavy this week because, you know, we picked up those games and, and that's where a lot of our, um, a lot of money went to. But I'm gonna get to scanning all this crap and see where we look at profit-wise. I mean, first one right off the rip, flipper. Uh, that's funny, cause you know, we're flipping these. Cost is 95 cents, makes six bucks. Oh, that one's a good one. $1.95, 
makes seven bucks on it. And then the other one, two ninety five into nine thirty nine. There's another dumb one. I paid a quarter to make four bucks. Not too shabby. Now here's a little bit of a pay up, but it ranked ten k, six ninety five. It's going for twenty five bucks. I'm gonna make $10.51 on that bad boy. Okay, this one I gotta talk to y'all about. If you're young or just not in the know and you've never seen Weekend at Bernie's, I think you can catch it on a streaming service. I could be wrong. Please watch like the six films of this because it's amazing and dumb all at the same time. But also, it's gonna make me $6.82. And those are some drop dead profits. Remember, remember. 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot, because for $2.99, who would have thought we'd be making that much money? And that brings us to the last of the DVDs. You might be asking yourself, as I'm gonna make a little bit of noise, what'd you make? Well, the total buy cost on all of the DVDs was a whopping net profit of 161.16. But again, you have to remember. So you also gotta remember all the games that we bought. Those will double up easy, if not even more. Crystal by itself goes for $160 right now on Amazon. That's nuts. I'll have less than $70 into that game. The Switch I'll make probably about $30 or $40 on. You know, so there was just a lot of other money going elsewhere and that's why it was so expensive. But uh, with that being said, we are gonna wrap this bad boy up. Thank you guys so much for following along with us today. Like, share, subscribe. Bye bye.